Jean-Paul Marat was born in 1743 in what is now a part of Switzerland. He was the first of five children born to Jean Marat. And uh, at a young age, he became a monk. And then he left this at age 16 and became uh, a Calvinist. And he immigrated to Geneva. As a young boy, he received education as a student of jean Elie Bertrand. And at 17 years of age, uh, he applied for more education but was denied. So after this, he went into uh, political, philosophical, and medical writing. But uh, he didn't pursue this for very long. And soon after, he got his first major works, which were three scientific papers. Uh, he did hundreds of uh, experiments but he wrote a paper on light, fire, and the physics of electricity. And um, so then he began his role in the revolution. During the revolution, he wasn't actually involved in any fighting, but he was a uh, political writer. And he pretty much uh, was trying to offer his advice to the nation. And... Um, his uh, major benefit, or his major work, was called L'Emma de Poupel, and uh, this was a newspaper, which was very influential during the revolution, and it uh, gave a lot of people, it made a lot of people hate him, and it uh, also get, gained him a lot of admirers. So in this paper, he pretty much advocated for uh, revolutionaries to be very radical, and he actually, uh, in one of his most controversial um kind of takes, he advocated for the execution of 500 to 600 counter-revolutionaries, and this actually got him exiled for about uh, a couple months, and he was uh, convicted in, to one month in jail for this. And um, he continued writing in this paper until in 1792, he was elected to the National Convention. And uh, on this National Convention, this is near the end of the war, and he, he uh, pretty much drew the new constitution for France after the uh, overthrowing of King Louis the Sixteenth, and at this point, uh, he kind of overthrew the Giridan or Giridans, and this gained him a lot of haters. Um, one of which being the person who assassinated him in uh, 1793. And uh, upon his assassination, he was made a martyr for the revolution and among his admirers. And his work um, was very influential to people's perspective on the war. And uh, he had a, uh, his pa uh, newspaper was very influential to the people and how they felt about the war and uh, allowed a lot of people to make their own decisions about what they thought was right and wrong. And uh, there's actually a famous painting of his death by um, Jack Louis David, I believe. Yes, Jack Louis David. Uh, it's called The Death of Marat. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. He was a very influential writer during the revolution. He definitely advocated for the revolution to go on and the uh, he advocated for reform in the government, and he also reformed the government in 1792 as he was elected to the convention, and uh, that's pretty much all he did.